Hey guys, I have a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD and it has the wireless one airlift air system on it with the 7500 pound bags. When I got into a situation out in Texas a couple months ago, it was actually before I put the airlift on here, I had a flat tire on the front of my pickup. I was out in a holding lot in Texas, no way to get any air. Luckily another guy pulled up that had an air hose or an, an air tank with him and he got me aired up and got me to a place where I could get it fixed and that uh you know kind of saved my butt. I got to thank him with the air lift on here. I know it's not set up to air up tires. I know it's not what it's designed for. It doesn't have a the compressor's not a hundred percent duty cycle. It's not you know it's just not made to run all the time. It's made to lift the airbags up and put them down. But I got to thinking, in case of an emergency, could I work something out? And I think I did. So, today I was at home just piddling around. I noticed my old utility trailer that I have had a flat tire, and we're going to try it out. Um, it'll either work or it won't. What I'm going to attempt to do is, seeing how the wireless one does not have an air tank, or um, really any way to build pressure, I'm going to air the airbags up to 75 pounds whenever you raise the back of the truck up then you get the 75 pounds on it when you hook the air hose to it it should use those airbags for a reservoir and help put the air in the tires I do know that if you run the wireless one too long it'll get hot and it'll cut off for 30 minutes which is a protection feature that I'm glad it's got you know it uh keeps people like me from over overrunning the compressor trying to do stuff it's not intended to do you know which I'm not suggesting this to air up tires all the time just it could possibly get you out of a bind if you were to get into the situation like what I was in where you're miles from nowhere and had a flat tire that it was just a nail so it wasn't like it was when once I aired it up it stayed up overnight till I got to another place to get it fixed you know I just kept an eye on it and kept an eye on the gauges so Anyway, let's see what happens. This is my utility trailer that I've got, and there's the flat tire. And you look up underneath here. See my hair. I plumbed all this in. There's where the emergency valve is in case your wireless one compressor quits working. You have a way to air your bags up. I just teed in on top of that and put a connector and I've been running through a lot of salt and a lot of weather. I don't know. I did try to hook this up earlier and it was kind of froze up but we'll see if it'll work. You hear it does have air pressure. kind of started to get it on up there a little bit but here 75 pounds
can see the truck coming down, the tires going up. Compressor's kicking back on. It'll kick off and on because it doesn't really know what's going on, why it's losing air. So now, I'm going to unhook this. I'm going to let it air all the way back up, give it maybe five or ten minutes to cool off while I'm doing other things, and then I'll come back to it. Alright, I'll let her cool down a little bit. Because the weight of the air, the weight of the truck is pushing down on the bags, forcing the air into the tire. Big kick off. You can hear it rushing in, in there again. Seriously, you can see the pickup going down on the camera, but the pickup's falling down on the airbag. I would think the compressor would kick back on here in, here in just a second. There it is. Not sure what this tire is rated at and that trailer is loaded down so I feel like I'm good especially to get me to a better place to get more air and like I said this video wasn't really recommended recommending to use this all the time to air up your flat tires it's just if you wind up in an emergency situation with a nail in a tire or something like that could you use it to get your tire aired up enough to get it somewhere to get it fixed or aired up I believe so but I wouldn't use it trying to air up, you know, tires on a daily basis. And especially a small tire like this, a four-wheeler tire, a lawnmower tire, I really don't think you'd hurt anything, but that's my personal opinion. But uh, anyway, 